start with the easy ones. Can you give houses to the homeless? Um, yeah, we can. We can. Um, it's a, a tough question, but a very, very important one. I think when we see people who are homeless, or particularly when we hear about families and kids being homeless, it makes makes everyone very sad, and we're determined to to put it right. The first thing we always try and do is make sure that everyone has shelter, that nobody has to sleep on the streets, and um, that's why uh, we provide shelters for people who are homeless, and it's why we very often have to put families up in hotels uh, so that they have shelter and they have somewhere warm to live and um, increasingly in something called family hubs where they have their own kitchens and can make their own food and, and, and have, a, have somewhere to play. Um, so pretty much every day uh, we provide housing to 80 people and their families, so that's that every day and just today I was with my friend, friend Owen in a different part of Dublin where we were starting to build 84 new houses and they'll be ready for uh, people and families in a year's time. But the problem we have is that families are losing their homes quicker than we can provide new ones. So it's like, um, like an escalator in, in the shopping centre. And the escalator is coming down this way and we're running up against it and trying to get to the top. Um, but we, we will get there. Not overnight, but we will get there and I promise you that. Okay. How will Brexit affect Northern Ireland and will there be borders? Not if I have anything to do with it. Um, I don't want to see any, any, any new borders. When I, when I was your age, um, any time we'd turn on the TV and watch the news, we'd hear about uh, people being shot in Northern Ireland or people being blown up in bombs. So, you know, it was really terrible. It's the kind of thing you see happening in other parts of the world now, but used to happen in Ireland when, when I was your age. Um, we spent the last 20 years um, getting rid of borders and bringing people together. Uh, and. I'm really worried that if anyone tries to put up a border again, that we'll start going backwards. Uh, so I'm doing everything I can to convince the British Prime Minister and, and all the people in Europe that that shouldn't happen.